Good day, my name is Joe. Today we'll be going over some of the differences and seeing if you'd like one more than the other on Star Wars Unlimited the trading card game and Star Wars the deck building game. So let's get into it. So let's get into the first big difference. Star Wars the deck building game is going to be an entire box uh, with no expansions as of now, but this is the entire game uh, when you buy this box. So it's an all encompassing game where Star Wars Spark of the Rebellion starter pack or Star Wars Unlimited uh, when you buy this, which you probably should to kind of get a get a good stock of cards. Um, is kind of a trading card game where you'll buy more and more packs. So an all encompassing game versus an expandable game. One of the next big differences is just how the game is played. You know, you have the deck building game. You're going to start with 10 cards and build your deck out. You're going to get rid of some cards. You're going to try to get a nice streamlined deck that you may cycle through several times throughout the game where uh, Spark of the Rebellion, you're going to go through your deck one time before you start to lose some health uh, on your base. And, and you're going to come with a constructed deck. So deck construction, you're going to come to the game with a pre-constructed 50 card deck uh, in Star Wars Unlimited. Where the deck building game is you're going to start with, you know, some 10 basic cards and build up to some of those uh, better cards. So after playing both games, the actual gameplay itself is a little bit uh, neat. And I would say I, I enjoy the gameplay a little bit more on the Spark of the Rebellion because there is still a you go, I go, but you're doing one action. So during the phase, it'll be you just have a lot more choice, I believe, in Star Wars Unlimited, where there's several actions you can do. You can play a card, uh, you can do an event, you can attack uh, their characters or attack their base. Uh, you choose the order that you want to do things in, and that's very uh, important and means a lot in this game. Star Wars, the deck building game, uh, in my review, I kind of alluded it to like a boxing match where it was you punch me in the face, I punch you in the face. You're going to have your cards, you're going to play them all, buy your stuff, attack your opponent, and then kind of clean up. And they're going to do the exact same. Uh, buy the cards, attack your base, <laughs> uh, clean up. And then so it's kind of just like a, there, there's not as much choice um, in the deck building game as there is in Star Wars Unlimited. In Star Wars Unlimited, I really do also like the hero mechanic uh, where they give you a power that's kind of um, for your your board for the entire state. And then eventually you'll be able to bring that leader out as a unit, a pretty powerful unit and attack with it as well. So that's a really neat mechanic. Um, as far as giving you a board presence, kind of like an overall special ability effect that you can eventually bring them down at the right time and uh, attack and destroy the opponents. There's a lot of cards in here too that that get help you remove cards, help you uh, manipulate the board. Just a lot of choice in this game. Where once again, Star Wars, the deck building game, uh, there's not a whole lot you can do to affect the opponent minus get some of those cards out of that main row. Because remember, the main row is either going to be an Imperial or Rebel side. And you're trying to either destroy some of the the opposite of, you know, factions uh, ships so they just can't buy anything and maybe just buy some better cards for yourself. So uh, just different kind of um, viewpoints on how to play. I really just like the, the leader version of this one where you really have to hope that your leader comes out or somebody powerful from the faction you want comes out so you can get that into your deck. So then we'll talk about the bases a little bit. And this is where, uh, you know, in Star Wars Unlimited, the, the bases are kind of kind of bland for now. They will, I'm sure, expand and give you some more uh, choice. But you're just going to have one base, which is just a generic life pool. But this one is, the, the choice is here. So when your base gets destroyed, you're going to be able to put out another base, which is going to have its own... Uh, uh, health value and with its own special ability too so you can adapt throughout the game and that is one really neat part about the the deck building game is when they destroy base you get to choose the next base and how to what do you need to do right here right now 
So just a small gripe for me. Um, in our Star Wars Unlimited box, we did buy this straight from Asthma Day, and they sent us two uh, Rebel decks that were the exact same, and the only thing different was they put Darth Vader on one of them. So we're a little bit disappointed on what we got straight from Asthma Day when we got two of the exact same identical decks, and that's super... Uh, unfortunate you know it came with these blue and white cards and then the other deck came with blue and white cards and from the the back of the deck box it tells you that, that we shouldn't have had a second deck so we're super kind of put down as we're playing through this we're both playing some c3po's leia organa some r2d2's and it's not quite as fun but i think a manufacturing error did kind of taint our view a little bit on the quality control of unlimited versus the deck building game which came perfectly so which game is more fun? It all depends. Do you want a more encapsulated game that you can play in about 30 minutes or so? That's gonna be strictly uh, Imperials versus the Rebels. You want, you want a game where you're gonna be building your deck, having to make some choice on the, the planets you're bringing out next, the bases you're bringing out next, some of the cards to fight, how to use you know the cards you have, like Dominion style, uh, all encapsulating game, or do you want a ever growing card game? where you know the card you may have may not ever be ever be enough or it may be but uh, like i said we were tainted a little bit by the starter box because we didn't get uh, what was promoted in the box but the game itself was um, a lot of fun really streamlined really fast you know the, the, you put out your ground units you know if there's nothing to attack you're just attacking the base and you're just you're you're hammering down this life and it's just a really quick game to play um you, there's attachments there's shields there's some experience one you know, plus one plus one counters you know preventing some damage there's just a lot to do in this game and i think the back and forth in star wars unlimited is a lot faster and a lot better for me i think there's a lot more choice in this game however this game is an encapsulated board game just for two and plays really well so um i do like both games but this game is going to cost you more in the long run if you're going to buy more than just a starter deck uh the starter pack itself so uh, that was just a quick overview of maybe you're on the fence between each one and uh, hopefully this gave you a kind of a um, just a little insight uh, to my thoughts on either one. Like I said, I think this one has a little bit more choice, but it's going to cost you a little bit more money if you want more cards. This is an all-encapsulating board game that will take you about 30 minutes, where this one will take you about 15 minutes to play a game. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the overview, and until next time.